Hey guys, so super quick video today, but as you can see, my office is absolutely a disaster area. Guys, check out this absolute disaster area. I'm not afraid to show it. I'm gonna show you what is behind the camera. If you've been watching our videos, we mentioned that we are going through a whole switch around in our house, and that includes my office. Now, my office is a place where I do videos, I do editing, I do um, crafts in here, we have all of our merchandise in here, and it's probably about 200-ish square feet, give or take. So it's really not that big of a space, but I have a lot going on in here, so I'm always trying to um, figure out a good flow in the office. So one of the things that I have done is I've purchased some stock cabinets from Home Depot and Lowe's. I actually had to go to both because one didn't have one, one did whatever, you know how that is. So I have some stock cabinets that I'm putting in and I will be dressing them up to look a little bit more custom. I don't want them to just be look like a stock kitchen cabinet, so I'll kind of build them out a little bit. But behind me, I have a three drawer cabinet back here that will house a lot of uh, my electronics. You can see, well, right now it's kind of a mod podge of things, but um, and it house my TV, probably printer, things like that, uh, maybe some of my client orders and, and stuff like that. And then I bought three more drawers. So what I need to do is add drawer handles. And I want to show you a simple and easy way to add the handles. Now, of course, the easiest way is to go and get yourself or even make yourself some sort of jig or template to install your handles on your cabinets. Now, my husband and I purchased this. I think we, we purchased this years ago. We've probably used this maybe once or twice, like literally just got this out of the toolbox just to do this video and it was just like full of dust. I mean, we, we just don't use it. Kind of doing it ourselves seems to fit our needs better than using um, a jig or anything like this. But I wanted to show you that you could get like tools like this to help you put your holes in your cabinets. Now this one obviously is small. It's not gonna work for this. Clearly it won't fit down and things like this. This is for upper cabinets, not drawers. So I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm going to put in my drawer handles. And here are the tools that you're gonna need. A screw gun, your drill bits, a pencil, measuring tape, and I love this one by Cobalt because, check this out, it takes the guesswork out of all those little notches on your, on your measuring tapes. I don't know if you can see that, but still. I mean, this is like my favorite measuring tape. We have a couple in the house and I'm like, where's the blue measure tape? So definitely helpful. And of course, your handles. And I also use my T-square just to make sure my holes are as straight as possible because we have two holes we're going into. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to measure your drawer. I'm gonna go from the very edge of the drawer to the very edge, check my measurement, and I'm at 22 inches. Now I wanna divide that in half to find my absolute center of this drawer, which is 11 inches. So we'll go ahead and then make a mark right at 11 inches. Then you wanna take your tape, and then you wanna go the other way. So we are at five and a half inches. So we need to go down two and three quarters, half of five and a half. We'll make a mark. So we have found our absolute center of our cabinet for our poles. Now you wanna take and look at the package that your pole comes in because it should tell you, you can see there, it should tell you the distance between the center of one hole on your pole, on your pole, to the other 
center hole of your drawer pull. So ours is three and three quarters. So I have to split that in half because I found my center and we have two holes and I wanna make sure this is absolutely centered. So I want to split that distance in half so I can get the two sides. So half of three and three quarters is one and seven eighths. So we will take our handy dandy ruler that has all, all of our awesome markings. So I'm going to go for the center of my hole over center, center of the drawer. And then I will mark one and seven eighths on this side. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Like I can put one and seven eighths on my center and then mark the very beginning for the hole. So now one and seven eighths on either side of the center. Then I take just my T-square just to make sure I have everything, just to make sure I have the holes absolutely lined up with each other. I don't know if you can see the holes, you can see the center, and then the two holes on the side. So we're ready to start drilling some holes. Your drawer, drawer pole or um, knob will come with screws. They should usually come with two separate sizes, one that's smaller and one that's a little longer. It just depends on the thickness of your drawer and which one you should use. I'm gonna take this and my drill bits and I'm gonna match up the drill bit that fits the best or has the same width as my screw. So this is probably like the scariest part <clears throat> is drilling a hole into your cabinet. But guys, don't worry about it. You can always fix holes in cabinetry. You can fill it and then try again. Just try to get it on the first try. We'll see how I do. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to have like any tear out or anything like that on the back of your drawer, you can try putting some paint, some painter's tape on the other side, or what I would recommend is putting a block, a scrap piece of wood behind there that should help prevent at least a lot of tear out. I didn't do that. This is a working drawer for me. It's not a kitchen cabinet. It's not something that would stay in my house if, I've, if I ever sold my house. It would come with me, so I'm not that picky on this one. Okay, so now we have our screws through the drawer. We can go ahead and put on our pole. Now, I would recommend that you use a hand screwdriver for this part. You don't want to tighten your screws really, really super tight onto your drawer. You don't want to dent anything, things like that. Um, and you also don't want to risk stripping your screw head and then you're gonna have a heck of a time getting it out and then you're gonna have to go buy a new one if you ever want to change out your poles. But I'm gonna use the screw gun because I hate hand screwing anything. So I'll just turn down the torque a little bit. No need to be at 22 on this one. All right, so that was pretty successful. I'm happy with it, and now I can open and close my drawers without getting fingerprints all over my drawer. Now, I just have to repeat the process two more times, and I'll be done.
All right, guys, and there you go. Pretty simple, and it's nice now that I have the holes drilled into the drawers. I can change out these poles or knobs anytime I want to. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Bye everyone. Now who has to clean up the mess? <laughs>